time for a daily devotional. I'm gonna do two days again uh, for August 17th and August 18th. Um, for August 17th, um, the title is The Great Commission. And if you're new here, I'm Christy, and here's Nafea. Welcome to our channel. Hope you guys will leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you guys can join our Ohana. Um, we do a lot of different things, daily devotionals, vlogs, cooking, and some beauty. Uh, so I hope you guys are will stay. I really would appreciate it. Yes, shake. You want to shake my hand? Oh. Hi. Good morning, Navea. Okay, so we're going to get started. And for all of you that be turning, what's up? Now, how's it going, everyone? Thanks for um, always coming back. I don't know what she wants. She wants me to. What do you want, sister? What? Okay, so let's just read this, Navea. What's on your nose? What? What do you want? Huh? What's going on? Okay, you want to sit here? What? She wants to grab everything. Okay. I scratch you a little bit. Okay, that's heavier by the day. Alrighty, guys. So, the, let's get started. Sorry for that. Um, the Great Commission. There she is, right on my lap now. Okay. After Jesus' resurrection, he appeared to his disciples. He asked them to make disciples of all the nations, to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He also promised to be with them forever. This commission and promise is yours too. When the eleven disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go, when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some of them doubted. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. That is awesome. You know, guys, um, I'm actually like, I'm Catholic, I baptize Catholic, but I haven't been consistent in going to church or learning the Bible. So this is like, um, kind of easier for me to kind of learn the Bible. And then I do try to get into the Bible and start to read. This will motivate me to understand it more and start reading more of my Bible. But for now, this is really great um, I really want to get to know the Bible better and that's why I'm doing this and I figure I would share this with you guys because maybe we all need a little um, positive vibes um, nowadays in this world so yeah I thought I'd share it while I'm reading because I'm starting to really like this book a really good book I just wanted to share that too okay and the next one is gonna be for today and it's follow Jesus Jesus calls on people to follow him and to help him make fishers of men the first disciples were ready to leave everything and follow Jesus unconditionally do you understand what it means to be a fisher of men Later on, at, after John was arrested, Jesus went into Galilee where he preached God's good news. The time promised by God has come at last, he announced. The kingdom of God is near. Repent of your sins and believe the good news. One day as Jesus was walking along the shore of the sea, 
of Galilee. He saw Simon and his brother Andrew throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. A little farther up the shore, Jesus saw Zebedee, Zebedee's son, John and I mean James and John, in a boat repairing their nets. He called them at once, and they also followed him, leaving their father Zebedee. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. In the boat with the hired man. Okay, so for that one, it's going to be in Mark 1, chapter 1, 14 to 20. And then the one I read prior is Matthew 28, 15 to 20. These are really good. They're really short stories today. But tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and read the inner healing. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to hear that one. And again, I'm reading from the Bible in 366 Days for Women. And it is by Christian Art Publishers. Um, you guys probably could, like I said, find it on Amazon, eBay. I know eBay, if I'm looking, I'm sorry. If I'm looking for books, that's where I would go for is eBay to check out if they have any books. But I think Amazon has it too. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys have an awesome day. You guys stay safe and be careful. Keep the faith. You know, I'll see you guys later on. Bye.